Retro plays. This is Spyro 3, episode 3. That was a very abrupt opening to this episode. But with that said, here we are. So we made it to Midday Gardens. Let's check our progress from last time here in episode 2. So we did the overworld and we also did one mission which was Sergeant Bird's base. And we also finished doing the first world, Sunrise Spring Worlds, I guess. The only thing was we couldn't do Molten Crater because we needed Sergeant Bird, which we didn't have at the time. We do now, but I'll go in at the end of the game and get it, rather than have you watch me do that. So with that said, let's get on with Midday Gardens. Let's start with... I'm thinking let's start with the mission over here because it seems like the most logical one to start with. Especially now that we've done Sergeant Bird's mission, so we won't have any problems with having to need him unlocked. So, Enchanted Towers, let's do it! This one is an interesting mission. It's quite long actually, so uh, I'm gonna try to get through it as quick as possible because I'm actually looking to complete the whole of World 2 in this one episode, which is absurd because it actually took me two parts to do World 1. Well, anyway, hopefully there'll be less cutscenes just to kind of get through it quicker. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so uh, the purpose of this level is to uh, destroy the statue of the sorceress. So it's pretty simple. We'll get to that when we do. So for now, let's start kicking some fucking ass. Okay, let's take one of these things and take out these nightmare fueled son of a bitches. There you go, perfectly arced, straight in his face. Let's take another one. Uh, let's hover over here. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, last episode, towards the end, I got my first death of the game during uh, Sergeant Bird's mission, which is a real shame because I was pretty much winding up the episode, then I fucking died on that mission. Now, technically, I didn't die as playing Gas Spyro, but you know, it still counts as a death, so that was my first death of the game, and uh, but with that said, this episode I'm going to see if I can get through it without dying again, and as I said before, as you get further in the game, that progressively would obviously get harder, so it's, right now it's a real challenge to see if I can get through it without dying, but anyway, without further ado, let's carry on here, doing pretty well so far, already took a hit, but that's no biggie. I mean, that's obviously going to happen at this point. Okay, now is there a secret spot here? Nope. There is a secret spot on one of these. I think it's the last tower. And also, you play as Sergeant Bird at some point during this level. And um, he can actually fly around anywhere on this level. It's pretty cool to see. Just see how you can explore a level playing as a different character who can pretty much go anywhere. So, look forward to that. Just save Gladys. Nicely done. Now there is a skill point on this level, but that comes up in a side mission. So I'll let you know when that is. Let's take out this Rhinoch here. Fuck you. What the hell? What just happened there? Anyone see that? That was quite weird. Ow, that was bullshit. Hey, fuckface. Okay. Well, there's a sheep in here, so that will restore my health. Got some lava, which looks like gold. So we won't be jumping in that because it's clearly molten hot. Okay, let's take out this fuckface. Um, once you play a Sergeant Bird, it's probably a lot easier to take those guys out. But, uh, you know, we can still do it despite that. Uh, one thing to note is that if you take out an enemy who's like hovering over something, or like hovering over death, and the gem falls down it, you automatically get the gem. It just kind of magnetizes its way to you. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now then, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep, there we go, a little secret passageway here. Let's uh, get all these little hidden little bitch gems. And let's fly on over to the there. There you go. Okay, we've got a life over there, so that's pretty sweet. Hop! Gimme, gimme! Hey, 24 lives! That's already more than I had at the end of Spyro 2. It's kind of crazy to think. 
All right. Um, gosh, this is awkward. Ooh, that was quite a sketchy jump I just did. But, uh, you know, we're fine. Haven't died yet. Fingers crossed that remains a theme during this episode. Oh, there's the statue of the sorceress. So the sorceress is that uh, Cooper, I don't know, Koopaling looking thing. Uh, so we can use these rockets here to destroy it. And Bianca is the other bad guy who, who seems like she'll turn into a good guy by the end of the game just from how her character is developing and she looks way too friendly to be a bad guy so there's that hey man Jasper my brilliant four dimensional masterpiece oh yeah just, just light all the rockets and prepare to be amazed by my genius sure I mean it's just an explosive there's not much genius behind that okay I mean there is to some extent, but uh, whatever. So you hit it, and then I guess it gradually just starts breaking from the toe down. So it's just the head left at the moment. That was pretty loud. Okay, um, where's that sheet? Okay. Fuck you. Shouldn't be much left here. Hey now, hey now. No need to be so cynical. Is that the words? I'm not sure. Um, can I actually just jump up and hit him? Uh, you might be able to, but I'll just do it this way. One thing I've noticed is... Oh, I was gonna say they don't hit you when you're in that aim mode, but uh, I guess they do. I was totally wrong about that, but uh, still, got them all. Uh, haven't destroyed the statue yet, huh? Okay, maybe there's one more rocket. Uh, not here though. Let's glide on over to here. Not sure where these gems came from. I don't know if they were just there the whole time or not. Where is the last rocket? Huh. Oh, is it up there? Oh no, I already did that one. <laughs> Why am I struggling with this? Should it even be an issue? It should just be right in your face where they are. Okay, let's take that. Okay, last rocket, where is it? Okay guys, I'm exiting the level because I'm fairly certain something has glitched out, so let me get back to that point. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty certain something actually glitched out that time around because I definitely took out all three of those rockets the first time around, but I had to restart the level to do it again, and now this time it worked. I guess I had to come across, a, uh, come across a glitch at some point. Anyway, oops, I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Ooh, peanut. Say peanut. Okay, awesome. Uh, worth mentioning, I did get a life coming back through the level the second time around. So, yeah. Okay, got sparks back to full health. And uh, there will be a side mission in there, so may as well go check that out. Let's head up here and drop on in. Okay, awesome. Pretty sure it's a skateboarding one, so that should be fun. Uh, yep, it is. All right, awesome stuff. Let me just get these. Now there's a skill point to uh, beat the course, uh, the course record, I guess. And you do that by doing tricks and stuff. I actually did this to get a skill point in um, level 1. Um, or I think it was called Sunny Villa. But I had done it off camera because I actually forgot to get that skill point on um, the actual recording of the footage. So uh, I went back and got that, as I mentioned in episode 2. Anyway, I don't know why I'm st skateboarding already. I may as well just start the challenge and then I can kill two birds with one stone. Isn't this the wildest okay. skateboard park you've ever seen? Once sure you've is. mastered a few tricks, you can score huge Okay, so right now he's going to like go through a tutorial um, to go over how you do tricks. I'm just going to do a time lapse now just to get through this tutorial part because it's nothing special. Now that. 
Okay, there we go. Got through the tutorial. It was nothing too important. Uh, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I called the Nasty Knock. That's a reference to Spyro 1. I almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into them into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can have this egg. Sorry, I couldn't read the word up. It looked like it said OP. Uh, okay, so now I think I go up against Hunter to see who can score the most points in a certain amount of time. If it would start. So we just see the outline there. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, whoever scores the most in the time limit wins. Simple stuff. So I'm gonna do some mad tricks. Like so, right off the bat. Oh, that was pretty impressive, actually. Uh, let's try collecting some of these gems or not. Uh, let's jump up here. Do a couple of spins. Oh, I wiped out. Oh, that's a shame. I'm in the lead by not much, though. Okay, that should help. Let's try doing that trick again. Oh, fucking A. Uh, ideally, you want to go up a really big ramp and then you can do some crazy stunts. Uh, otherwise, you're not really going to get much. I'm pretty sure you can get like 2,000 if you do a good trick off this. So uh, let me try that. Oh! 3,000 in fact. I'm actually just going to fall off my board here as a strategy. Just so I can go off it again. Uh, fly off the ramp. Do a couple of backflips. There you go. I'm pretty sure I've secured my victory at this point. Uh, so that's good. Let's jump up here. Now the course record I'm pretty sure is 10,000. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it on this attempt. That would be nice though. Just trying to think how best to do that. Uh, there is, actually, if you go up here, I'm pretty sure... Okay, I failed at getting up there. I'm pretty sure if you go up there you get a thousand points just for going up there. So there's little things like that that can really boost you to the score you need. Now I'm fairly certain I've won this, so I don't need to worry too much about that. So he just went up the triple towers, that's exactly what uh, I was trying to do. Oh boy, that was a hard trick to land. Uh, I'm just going to wipe out there because I'm going in the complete wrong direction that I want to go to. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to get 10,000. Fuck yeah, I'll just wait. <laughs> and then I'll start it again to try to get the 10,000. There you go, can't believe it, how did you get so good already? Who knows, someday you might even break my course record? I will. Nah, anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. It, I was going to keep it for a pet, what the fuck? But I can't get it to hatch. You sick son of a bitch. You have a best friend who is a dragon, and you was going to take one of his kind and enslave it as a pet? Go fuck yourself, Hunter. I thought you changed, but no, you're still a bastard. Okay, we saved Alex. I feel bad if anyone's favorite character is Hunter, because then I just totally wrecked him. Anyway, so I got two minutes to beat the course record, so I'm actually going to speed it up, because you already kind of saw me do it. Okay, I was not able to do it on the first go, but here we go again. Okay, I've pretty much beaten it now with an okay amount of time to spare. Uh, I pretty much just kept going off this ramp and doing just the gnarly ass trick, kind of like this one here. There you go, just bangs you a good couple of thousand. So there we go, beat the course record. So going up there, bouncing off all three platforms, I don't know if you saw during the time lapse, but uh, it bangs you a lot of points, so that's definitely worth doing as well. But uh, yeah, that's my record. It is easily, it's actually probably quite easy to beat, to be honest. There's a good couple of ways of getting like 3,000 in a one go. But uh, there you go, I did it. I got a life there because I got a skill point in doing so. So that was good. Um, so now I just need to collect the remaining gems.
Okay, there we go. I'm fairly certain I've got all the gems in this level. I may not be right, but uh, hopefully I am. And if not, I can always come back. Uh, we'll know where we have missed the gem, if so. So let's get out of there. And carry on with this awesome level. Now I'm pretty sure all that's left is to play as Sergeant Bird. Uh, which can be done very soon. Actually, there are still other things to be done here. Uh, first of all, let's head up this whirlwind. There you go. Get these gems. And as you can see, you probably recognize this guy from Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, we're collecting those bones again to um, once again reassemble that golden skeleton that does that dance in Ripto's Rage. So uh, yeah, look forward to that I guess. Uh, let's get those, head bash this, nicely done. Okay, sweet, very annoying little sheep, fuck that up. Uh, let's see, god, oh god, I almost died, I almost died, <laughs> I went the wrong way, I should have gone left, or right, I, I don't know what perspective I was in, oh boy, that was uh, kind of embarrassing, anyway, well I may as well take advantage of this thing in my mouth, I mean it's easier to get a sergeant bird, but no, I missed it anyway, yeah I'll get it a sergeant bird. <laughs> Okay, let's head back here and uh, not go left this time and go right because that's where I wanted to go. And there's another one in here, so take him out. Two out of eight. That, my friend, is a four. Anyway, see, learning can be fun when you play Spyro. Smash this, and I'm pretty sure that's about all I can do as Spyro for the most part. So let's try to get to the area with Sergeant Bird. I'm at the beginning of the level here, but I'm fairly certain there is a whirlwind that I can take advantage of, and there sure as fuck is. So let's go there and then go back up this one. Uh huh, like so. And then now we need to glide on over to here, which we haven't been to yet. And uh, let's see if I can take some of these out as Spyro, probably not. Now I'm gonna smash this vase because I don't think Sergeant Bird can actually take him out, so uh, I'll just do him while I'm still playing as Spyro. Now here's Sergeant Bird, so uh, let's play as him and he will fuck these guys up. Okay, he's ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to, yes sir! It's good to be back in action. Okay Bird, James Bird. Oh, his name's actually James then, now that I think about it. So uh, yeah, like I said, uh, episode 2. Sergeant Bird is a force to be reckoned with, so it's pretty awesome. And uh, I would definitely say a better character than Sheila. I mean, Sheila's a good character, but um, Bird just plays way better. It, there's advantages to playing as Bird, whereas there doesn't feel like there's much of one playing as Sheila. And also worth mentioning, now that I'm on the subject, I've been referring to Sheila as a boy during the first two episodes. It was only when editing I realized, wait a minute, Sheila is clearly a girl. Her voice is actually very girl-like now that I think about it. It's not like traditional feminist, uh, feminine sounding, but um, it's definitely a girl's voice, my bad. And I also looked it up on the wiki, it's definitely a girl. So yeah, boy do I look foolish. So if we go up here, you can see it's the same guy from Ripto Rage, it's Uga. And uh, yeah, we need to get the rest of the bones so we can put his friend back together. So we'll be sure to do that. Okay, so I took care of a lot of these guys already, but uh, seems there's still a few hovering around. Oh wow. Come on, get him. There you go. I'm fairly certain there's still some uh, side missions to do as um, Spyro. I think there's one more. Uh, and I think it's behind that door over there, so I'm not sure. Probably should have done that beforehand, but oh well. Let's take out this sheep. I think I got everything here on this island. Oh no I didn't. Let's get that guy. There you go. Okay, awesome. And this should be right over here. Yeah, should be one of these bone dudes. Let's take him out. Nicely done. And let's take out this dude. If we could get him. Sweet. 
start taking out these balloons. There you go. Gimme, gimme. I smash one somewhere. Okay. Just the balloon over there, and we also got another bone guy to kill. Hey, boy, do I have a bone to pick with you? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. So that's all sorted. Just a few enemies. Actually, quite a few enemies that I need to take out while playing as bird here. Missed that guy. I think there's another one in here. Let's take that out. He's probably circling back around roundabout now. So only two bones left. Got him. Uh, okay, I got the gem. Gotta be careful with these guys, man. You gotta know where they drop the gem. Sometimes they actually drop it on the ground, at which point you um, have to go back and get it, but it seems they're actually getting blasted off the map, so maybe it's not so bad. Uh, fairly certain there is an area in here which Spyro couldn't get to, and there is, sure enough, one of these dudes in here. So I'll get all that. Interesting, the bone doesn't self-pick up. I guess you do actually have to get it yourself. I thought just killing them would give it to you, but whatever. Fairly certain there's some more enemies to take out, so keep an eye peeled for those. Actually, it seems pretty dead. It's just that guy, maybe. There you go. Okay, um, not sure what's left. There's definitely still another bone to get, so we need to see where that could possibly be. I'm thinking right where that enemy could be is where it is, because he seems to be guarding it. And yeah, it's definitely in there, because uh, there's a... Oh, shit! Okay, alright, buddy. There you go, yeah. This is probably the last area I hadn't explored, so now I have. Get all that and then pick this up, because it will teleport you back. Genius. I was going to keep it as a... Okay, you was going to keep it as a souvenir. What a prick. But I don't have room in my luggage. Go fuck yourself, how about that? Okay, Ralph. Oh yeah, now the fucking annoying dance from Spyro 2 is going to play. Uh, like I stated before, um, I'm going to shit on your nostalgia if you actually enjoyed this dance, but in the modern day, and as a 22 year old man, I don't care for it. I didn't see it as a kid because I didn't play Spyro as a kid. I played a demo of it and that was about it. But uh, yeah. There it is. Exact same dance from Spyro 2. Pretty funny, I guess. Same music and everything. Right, we done? No, still going. The music has stopped, bud. Fucking A. Okay, that lasted longer than it should have. Okay, I'm fairly certain I can stop playing as Sergeant Bird now. Spyro is still the best, so uh, I would any day go back to playing as him. But it is nice to just go anywhere in the level, essentially. You can probably find some crazy glitches playing as Sergeant Bird, I would imagine. But uh, anyway. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. One moment. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, just had a delivery that I had to answer the door for, so that's sorted. Okay. Go on patrol? No, sir, I'm off duty. Okay. Why would it be Spyro saying that? That made no sense. Okay, I'll be here when you need me. Okay, back to playing as Spyro. Let's go through this side mission that I'm pretty sure is the only thing left for this level, hopefully. If so, that might be the best executed level, aside from that little glitch that happened so far in the game. Or in the series, for that matter. Okay, um... Let's see here. Let's talk to this guy. I was playing catch with my pet wolf, Farley. But I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Uh huh. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless sitting up here. He's so worried. Softening whimpers. He kind of looks like Laszlo from GTA. Wolf. Never cry, wolf. <laughs> Wait. I feel so helpless sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. 
Never cry wolf. <laughs> okay, so he threw a ball down here and his pet wolf followed it and now he's stuck down here and now we gotta get him out. And there he is. Hey little cutie pie, give me the ball. Okay, we'll get you out of here. Don't you worry little friend. Now you would think I could just shoot it into that whirlwind and it'll follow it up and out, but uh... Actually, I'm gonna test that. Maybe there's a little shortcut here. Maybe, maybe? No. Okay, never mind. How am I gonna pick this up now? Oh boy! <laughs> I was worried that would happen. Okay, enough fucking around, let's go. So, uh, we get all this shit. I wanna spit it out onto the little pressure plate here, but, um, totally failed at that. I suppose you're supposed to aim, but, um, fairly certain, yeah. If you're in a certain spot near it, we'll just shoot it out right where it needs to go. Okay, sweet. So you raised the little staircase there, but I happen to be standing on the closest one to the bottom, which was very convenient. Speedrun strats. Okay, what the fuck? Stop chasing him, it's making it hard for me to hit. Uh, there you go. Okay, nicely done. Got spots back full health as well. Get all this shit, because I'm fairly certain I won't be coming back. In fact, I should be able to get all the gems on this run, or just in this area, if uh, these are the remaining ones. And if that's the case, it will be the best I've executed a level. Now, I'm fairly certain you have to shoot it over here, and then go back, hold this button down for him, and then he goes across. Right? Am I wrong about this? I'm so sure that's the logic here. Okay, uh, let me fucking figure this out. Maybe I spat it out too far into the area. Okay, now I just spat it off of there. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, that is what you do. I guess um, I just had spat it too far into the room. So uh, let's get all this. And now, can I have the ball back please? I think you sit on this one, then you actually have to shoot it over on to here. Like so, then jump up on this in time, and then you can hit that, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much done now. Just need to get to the remaining gems, which would be here and there. Here and there, anywhere really. I feel like that had the potential to be a good rhyme, and then I didn't really go anywhere with it. Okay, let's get that. First things first, wolf. Sorry, bud. Okay, whoa, what the... Okay, I've got this fucking thing in my mouth, so I can't exactly take him out. Let me just get rid of that. I got hit anyway. There you go, reunited, bud. Let's take that. And it seems that wasn't the last gems, so it's probably in the skateboard hey, level. You wasn't the best executed level as I thought it would be. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy, oh well. It's, uh, it's the thought that counts, right? Wow, those dragon eggs must be tough. <laughs> to be fair, they do hold some pretty powerful creatures. I was like, doing that dog thing. That was cool. Okay. Isn't it funny how it had like a dog animation and we just happened to do a mission for a dog? You think they actually thought about that and deliberately did that? I have no idea. Now, I still got this fucking ball in my mouth, I'm taking it. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck it. Alright. Let's find the remaining gems! It would appear that I didn't take out all the enemies while playing as Sergeant Bird, so let me get this guy. And it may be the last guy, I'm not sure. Uh, he didn't drop a gem. Okay, uh, maybe he did drop a gem somewhere, I just happened to pick one up. And sure enough, it was in fact in the skateboarding level where I missed most of the gems. And there you go, there you have it. This level is complete! It's quite a nice long level, um, and I hope I got through it with good time because there's a lot to cover this episode, so with that said, let's get the fuck out of here. Sometime today. Okay. Exit level. Oh, a cutscene. Hunter's Tussle. I want to keep my mouth shut. Was that Skyrim? 
Sorry, I couldn't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> we should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. Holy shit, how do I actually fuck someone up? Gohan style. This is the first time for everything. Damn, dog! I guess when this bitch is involved, you'll get doing something. Oh, he was about to get his ass kicked, but uh, at least he actually did it. Went for it. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> oh my god, that banter hey, level. Why'd you have to scare her off? Could stop myself from talking. Weird. But yeah, it looks like Bianca will turn into a good guy. That's my prediction for this game. Or a good gal, should I say. So there you go, level complete. I have 27 lives. That's quite impressive. Now I'm actually gonna go back to world 1 for a moment. Because I want to do that sparks bonus level that you have. What is this? With guys from the five worlds, we can work the worldly game. Okay. Interesting. Well, probably get that at the end of the game. So, Sunrise Spring Home, or whatever. Sunrise Spring World? What is it called? I guess I'll find out when I get there. Sunrise Spring Home. That's it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's right near the exit here. Or the entrance, if you want to say. Uh, right there. Yep, sure enough, uh, we got Zoe. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. Ah. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Sure thing, let's do it. Now then. The first level of the bonus world. Or the Sparks world, whatever you want to call it. Here you go. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdad, Okay, it's so about to go through a tutorial. Help. So, um, start, once again, I'm going to speed shoot. through it and then Press resume the once we get to the actual to level itself. Looks like okay, there we go. That didn't take too long. So, yeah, it's like one of those joystick shooter type things. I think that's what they're called. Uh, it's actually quite a bit of fun. This might be one of the more fun mini games in recent Spyro things. I mean, it's much better than that super fluidity tunnel thing that I had to do uh, last episode. That was a pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. I uh, already took some damage. Uh, that was kind of lame. Probably because I was pressing the wrong button. Uh, oh wow, I'm blue. Double D double die. Won't die. I won't die here. Damn you. It's always the new mechanics that will get me. But we got a butterfly. Got some of my health back. There we go. Oh, and then we got this power up, which will help. Yeah! Oh shit. Oh damn, look at the spray on that. That is sick. Okay, I'm fairly certain this is like an endless spawn, so I'm not exactly going to get through it. Oh no! I mean it is, but uh, we can take it out. Oh shit. There you go. I haven't got many of those bullets left, so I should uh, spare them. Uh, we've got a little red key here, so I'll be taking that. Also got this thing. Take that, that's health. Uh, oh boy, better run. I'm fairly certain I can't destroy this spawner yet, so uh, I'll just keep my distance for the time being until I can. So we use the red key to get through the red door, like so. 
fairly obvious. Okay, I need to get through this so I can destroy this. There you go. And then destroy these guys. There you go, man. Fucking them up. Alright. Got there in the end. And I got those machine gun bullets once more, so that should help. Pay and spray. Spray and pay. Whatever. Okay, we'll have to come back here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, okay, now I have the green key, which is here. So that's convenient. Hey, fuck you. Okay, he's dead. Uh, let's take that. Take that. Take that. The yellow key. The magic key, am I right? What an awesome story that was. Let's get these gems. So it seems that I'm invincible for the time being, which is great because it seems not only am I invincible, but I can just fucking shred some of these guys. So I'm going to take full advantage of this while I can. Uh, let's go through here. Let's try to get to the spawner as quick as possible. Alright, there's a button there that you have to press. Alright, nice. And I, it seems that now that I step on that pressure plate, that the uh, the force fields on the spawners have gone. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore, which is nice. Seems that I got everyone. Let's get these gems. And then I'll get that butterfly, whichever power up it is. Hopefully it's the invincibility one again, because that was awesome. And it's... It's fire, it seems. Holy crap! Okay, let's take out this spawner, and sure enough, it is no longer guarded by a force field. Um, there you go. Let's keep my distance here. Yeah! Is it like that game on the Nokia phones? Not Space Invaders, but uh, something similar. Okay. That seems to be everything in this spot. This is a big area. Okay, I got the blue key, and here's the blue door, and that's the last door, so that's good. A uh, lot of spawners, so uh, let's take those out. There you go. Hey, back off. Let me get these things. So by holding uh, one of the bumpers, L1 or R1, you can kind of strafe, which is really helpful. As you can see, oh shit. Back off, it's a fucking crap. Okay, let's take out that spawn. There you go. Now then, what's left? Oh yes, I remember. There's a boss battle. Uh, so let's go into that strafe mode. Seems I still got one more of these fire things. So let's use it. Uh, circle to shoot now. X is for the power-up type of things. And then it's uh, circle for the most part. Which is kind of hard for me to get used to. Seem to be kicking his ass right now. And there is a butterfly up here that I can use. Let me try to get that while I fight. Yeah, strafing helps so much. Oh, I shot his arms off. He's like powerless. Oh, no he's not. Okay, let's just take him out as quick as possible. He's kind of doing damage. Ooh, he actually started kicking my ass there. Nora, you're saved. Nice. Okay, so in the future, I'm not actually going to include these levels in the uh, episode because it's just going to get too long otherwise. The only reason why I did this for this episode is because, one, we already did Sergeant Bird's mission, so that kind of freed up a slot for another level, and also because this is the first one of its kind, so it was worth sharing. But just know in future episodes, uh, I'm going to have, I will have done them off camera. So uh, yeah, you. this is the last time you'll see this, but uh, yeah, let's carry on with where, whatever we were doing. Let's go back to Midday Gardens. Okay. Alright, that was only 10 minutes. Nice work, Sparks. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the Lost Egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Now that's pretty convenient and also attention attention to detail here because Sparks was green by the time I ended that level and now he's actually green in the actual overworld like they actually registered how much health Sparks had. So yeah 
and now Sparks can collect gems at a greater distance, which is super convenient, which may actually explain why I felt like Sparks was lacking a bit in that department. So yeah, back to Midday Gardens, and here we are! So now, so we did uh, the level that was up there, which was Enchanted Towers. So first of all, let's get Sparks back to full health, like so. And let's go into this icy cave. Whee! And the level's not here, this is where our life was. But uh, I already got that in the, uh, episode 2. Here we go, icy peak, let's go. Check this one out. Now I'm fairly certain this level's a fair amount easier than the one that I just did, so that should help. Okay, very icy. What's the status update? I was supposed to meet Bob. Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Okay, so he's supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing, but Rhinox blocked the path with ice. I've been trying to clear it away with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing off. Hey, bro, it's not that you can't shoot straight; it's that you can't shoot. Period. Let me show you how it's done, son. Okay, let's uh, aim this up a little. Yeah. I need to make sure I hit it first try, otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot, and I look like an idiot. Oh, fucking A. Alright, hit that. Oh, I can't even hit that either. Pathetic. Fuck you, Vulture. Can't even hit the Vulture. Oh boy, I fucking look like an idiot right now. Uh, let's get these TNT things. Let's get this fucking Vulture guy. Nice. There's another one. Come on, hit him. There you go. Something has to give. Uh, that appears to be about everything I can get. Let's go up this whirlwind, which will take me over here. Get that. Ooh, that was a bit risky. <laughs> Fucking went full sprint at it. And get the uh, gems over on here. Oh yeah, Sparks is definitely collecting things from a greater distance now. That's pretty damn convenient. Uh, okay, let's carry on with the level. Head on up here. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's set this bad boy up. Fuck you. Set that off. Is that fucking... Uh, what's his name? Daffy Duck? Where is he? There. Fuck you, Daffy Duck. Nice. Now that I just mentioned Daffy Duck, I just remembered a, like... A Looney Tunes game or Warner Brothers game back in the day on PS1 that had um, Bugs Bunny in it. I, I remember loving it so much as a kid, but I'd never actually had the full game, it was just a demo. I had a lot of demos growing up. Uh, and uh, they were actually pretty great because it gave me the chance to play all these amazing games without having to buy them. Especially considering uh, I didn't really get to buy too many games as a kid. Actually, I think compared to most kids, I was relatively spoiled. I got a lot of things, so I won't play that card. Let's carry on. Definitely got a lot of action mans. Whoa! Or should I say action men? That's probably correct grammar. Okay, so I kind of got my ass kicked on the, out on the ice there, but I'm fine. Still haven't died. Though I did die in episode 2, but we're going to forget that happened. Uh, let's go over here. I can see there's a secret cave underneath this ice here, so we'll be sure to check that out when I get the chance. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting an enemy to pop up there. Where'd he go? There you are. Ah, fucking daffy dog fuck. Alright, let's set off this rocket. That will just destroy that chest over there. In the meantime, I'll get this guy. Nice. And hop on this cannon. Egg up there. Alright. Destroy that because that's breakable. You know what? Let's take him out as well. There you go. Destroy that chest in the back because I don't think I can head bash it. Uh, and destroy this ice sculpture. Let's destroy this vulture as well. Come back, you fucker. I need to lower it a bit. There you go. Okay, that's about everything. Uh, I don't think you can actually get up there from jumping off there, I've tried before a couple of times, so uh, no point doing that. You do come back to it, closer to the end of the level actually, 
Uh, how am I to destroy that now? Now usually there's a TNT chest in here, but it seems that when I shot the cannon it destroyed it in the process. So, interesting. Let's see if I can still hit the wall just from using the cannon alone. Hopefully I can. Yeah, it looks like I can. Okay, nice. And just to prove that you can't go up here. Huh. That's the best jump I could do, I swear. Maybe you could do a better one and actually get up there, but that, that's all you're going to get out of me. So, yeah. Oh, shit. What's going on? There you go. Got there eventually. Fuck off. These guys just keep jumping out of nowhere. It's really, like, throwing me off. Uh, okay, this appears to be how you get up to uh, that area. Let's carry on. Out of the way. Oh, that's how you get to Maynard, the wine gum. Nice. Okay. And now I can hover on over to here. That's still not how you get to the whirlwind. You actually get to the whirlwind a bit later on, pretty much at the end of the level. So, with that said, let's carry on. Take out this duck. And set off this TNT, which actually got that guy. Set that off. And fuck this guy up. Nice. Let's get all that. Sparks is grabbing, grabbing. That's what I like to see. Ooh, surprise attack. I can't get off this ice. <laughs> I'm trying to. Alright, Sparks will probably get it. There we go. There we are. I love the reflection off that ice. It looks fucking crisp. Alright, uh, nice. I want to kill that duck because I failed at getting it a good couple of times now. There you go. Carrying on. Let's get on that cannon. Nice. Uh, let's just shoot some of these TNT things. Just a bit more convenient. There you go. And uh, shoot that ice. Fucking money bags is there. Ready to rip me off. And shoot that ice, and these vultures. I think these will be the last ones, if I could actually hit them. Which I can't, as you can see. Okay, one down. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. There you go. Okay, let's glide on over to here, check out what the... Whatever is. I wasn't sure what to say. The 410, the situation, the lows down, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay, done. And now I have to backtrack a little. And I'm back. Huh. Okay, I was trying to like hover so I could skip two steps, but uh, I guess that didn't happen. Seems I'll never master getting over these little steepy steps. Let's go here. Here and there, everywhere. Uh, there's a little side mission here, I may as well just do that now. Let's go get ripped off by money bags. Step right up, Spyro. Step right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. 500 gems. Oh man, I've got a lot of gems now. These are fun coupons. Take them. Well, step right in. A cultured sword of dragon. Well, step right in. The show is about to start. All right, better be some show. To be fair, that's reasonable. I guess you would have to pay to get into a show. So, hey, hey, hey! Oh, isn't this nice? Tonight, Nancy. And these hockey players are ruining it. Oh no! Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish we had a partner. Someone courageous and strong and handsome and purple who breathes fire. Mm. I'll let you know if I find someone that fits that description. Will you please help okay, me let's um, take out the Rhinox who keep hogging the ice and all I want to do is dance. Sorry, whatever. Let's do it. This took me a couple of turns when I was practicing, but hopefully I can do it first try. Hopefully I can remember where some of them spawn from, that would help. Uh, I want to say it comes from the left side. Yep. Okay, so far so good. Then it's probably the right side. Now you actually want to keep a little gap. 
What the fuck? He gave me no time to react there. Uh, I was like taking out one and then she got hit instantly by another one. Maybe the guy on the left was coming quicker. So he goes, that one comes out first and then this one I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to take full advantage of this. There's like no RNG to it. Okay, so it would appear... Yep, that guy comes out first. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Oh, that was close. Okay, yeah, so I find keeping a little gap about this much distance around her helps a lot because otherwise she kind of blocks the flames sometimes, which makes it hard to hit the guys. But we did it! Yay! Took a couple of goes, but we got there in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah! He threw an egg? Well, that's convenient for me. I'll take it. There were no judges here. I was like the only person. I was the only one who bought the ticket. And instead I had to do like an escort job, I should have got paid to do it instead of ripped off. Anyway, I'm gonna kill this fucking rhino because he seems unguarded. <laughs> oh, I can't. That's a shame. Fucking invisible wall. It's the only one that doesn't have a wall. <laughs> anyway, there's no gems or anything here, it was just that egg, so let's get the fuck out. Go, go, go! That may actually be the only side mission for this level, I can't entirely remember. Actually, no, there is another one. Probably in here. Let's take out that guy and take out that guy. Oh, not. Okay, took out the duck. Nicely done. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna head down here, fuck it. Whee! Nice. Oh, here's the mission. I knew there was one somewhere. Uh, okay, gotta take out these egg thieves again. Just like, uh, we've seen me do before. Uh, there's actually a skill point on this level. I think you go through here and uh, okay clearly I needed to supercharge that. Oh I missed it. I'll take out that grief later. I'll try to do this first because I think it'll be advantageous getting the skill point first because then I can take out a thief in advance. Actually, I'm mistaken, the skill point isn't in this cave, it's a little bit later on, so uh, let's try to get that thief again. Thief? Why do I say it like that? Thief. Okay. I could have got him there, that was interesting. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna get you, you fuckface. Yes, you wait. Oh, that was a tight jump. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just get the thief. Oh, he went left. Bastard. Uh... Okay. Uh, maybe I will then just take some time out and try to get the uh, get to that secret spot. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. Get all that, and then this will lead all the way up here. And I'm fairly certain you can take out the red thief who will jump down after you take out that yellow one in advance. So uh, it's pretty good. And um, he happens to be standing where I need to get to in order to get the skill point. Now here's the thing, there's a very high chance I will die trying to land on this thing, so I'm a bit worried about that. Huh. Yep, I'm gonna exit area. You know what, fuck you. I'm gonna pussy out. Alright, that was some pussyfied shit. Um, hey man, you guys would have done that too. Don't lie to me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I mean that counts as a death, I'll count it, fuck it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, at least I showed you a way of cheating death in this game. So now let's try actually getting this guy legit. Uh, should I fast forward it? Actually I won't. Not for this guy. He's a bit more easier to get than the second one. So we'll actually take our time with him. And then I'll speed it up on the second guy. Oh my god! Pathetic, pathetic performance. I was probably so close to getting him as well, but now I have to gain all that distance again. Just want to cut corners essentially. There we go. Okay, Betty. Whoa, black Betty with a bang on my line. All right. And now let's get the red one, who is over there, and I'm actually going to speed it up now.
Okay, finally got him, as you saw, it took a good couple of laps before I actually gained some distance on him. And towards the end there, almost fucking slipped off, but uh, made some pretty tight jumps there. He just did the moonwalk, that was awesome. Uh, was his name Scott or Scout? I couldn't quite, I can't tell if you can spell Scott that way or not. But anyway, let's go back to the area that I was at originally, which is... So on the left here was that first cave that I thought I was supposed to go to, but no, it's actually this one over here uh, and then through this little thing and then we find this whirlwind here which just fucking sends you off somewhere really fucking high there you go on that tower so to get the skill point you have to land where that red thief was originally which is that little platform over there the problem is you fly really fucking high so I've deliberately glided a little bit later than normal but unfortunately that resulted in me gliding too late so that was fucked up let me get back to that point okay attempt number three and i've already glided too soon but hopefully i can kind of hover drop onto it um now maybe oh i'm gonna cheat death again dimitri you cheat death once again all right come on just let me have this just let me have this there you go Four times the charm. Oh man, despicable. Got a life back. I mean, I didn't even lose a life because I kept doing well with this. Okay, 29 lives. That's quite a lot. Um, you know what I found? It's a lot easier to edit an episode if I don't die. <laughs> like, there's so many less edits I have to do. So, I do like not doing that. Uh, right. Now, what's left of this level? That should be all of the uh, missions done. Okay, probably just need to talk to that guy, but uh, first... Oh, it appears there are some more vultures and stuff. Let's take them out. There we go. And down. Fuck you. Um, and fuck that. Or not. That's about everything. Let's talk to him. Fuck it. Don't think I'll be coming back here. Actually, I will, but... I, put up ice I could use the gondola. So Bob beat me to the ice okay. Oh, he put the ice blocks up this morning so Bob wouldn't beat him to the ice fishing hole. Ah, so if you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. I almost said borrow, but it's borrow. Okay, Chet, you're saved. Now then. Uh, I'll use the gondola oh, later. Okay, yeah, cool. On the way back up, because I have to go down, then back up, and then then down again, I guess. But uh, you'll see why that is in a moment. Uh, let's first head on over to this whirlwind. And then, ideally, I would carry on from this point. But uh, I don't think there's a way back. And I need to be here first. Because I need to go over to here. And glide here. And then, about here, there's a crack in the ice that you can destroy. And get these. So this is that hidden area I was talking about, and sure enough it's underwater because that makes a lot of sense actually. Okay, Spot, start collecting, because now you're much better at it. Nice. And that's that. Uh, and now I can use that gondola to get back up and go to that area with um, that other spot. Can I even get back to the gondola though? Okay, yeah I can. Let's do it. May as well show the gondola animation because that might be interesting to someone out there. Uh, it'll probably come back down. Yep, sure enough it is. It's funny how the camera gets blocked if there's something in the way. There you go. It's like the camera is actually a physical object in this game instead of like fucking passive like they normally are. Fucking hit bumps into shit. I wonder what object they use for the camera. I wonder if you can actually see it. I bet it's like a square. Uh, okay, just to bring up some context as to why I think about stupid shit like that, it's because I'm an aspiring games developer, so I may as well just let you guys know that, and that's why I kind of end up talking about some nerdy stuff sometimes. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Let's get all this shit, and get that, nice little life, now I've got fucking 30 of them, that might be the most I have ever had in a spiral game and I fucked that jump up so let me get back to that point okay and I'm back let's try that again without fucking it up 
Nice. And that should be the remaining gems and the egg. Let's see if that's the remaining gems. Uh, yep. Awesome. And that is definitely the remaining egg. Freeze, you're safe. And then I can get off this God forbid an icy world. Uh, let's just make sure we got the... Yep, we did. And then it'll give me the level complete and it'll be awesome. Okay, let's exit. Noise. Ah, oh, yeah, get in the bank. I think on the last level, um, well before Sparks' world, uh, you probably didn't see many gems going into the chest because I had to leave it and go back in because of that weird glitch thing. Okay, let's see, which level should we go into next? In fact, let's have a look at the guidebook here. I mean the Atlas, as it's called in this one. Uh, we got three more levels, but one of them's a speedway, so that's not a big deal. And then obviously a boss battle, and I'll end the episode off with the boss battle because then I'll be on world 3 for episode 4. Uh, okay, so we got Spooky Swamp and Bamboo Terrace. I would like to do Spooky Swamp first, preferably, if I can find it. And I'm fairly certain it's in that treehouse over there. But before I go in, I'm actually going to have to restart the capture, because I find that if I go beyond like 40 minutes, it just starts to fuck up. Uh, well, there's a risk of losing audio and stuff, so um, be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And let's head on into Spooky Swamp. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, see, this is a problem that I didn't realize with my capture card when doing the Crash Bandicoot videos. Just because Crash Bandicoot's somewhat shorter than the Spyro games. Actually, a lot shorter because um, probably just based on the linear-esque gameplay of that, well, game. Com in comparison to this, like, open world style for Spyro. But anyway, with that said, uh, for this world, or level should I say, you gotta destroy all these piranha um, signs. I was about to say piranha plant. Gosh, I'm fucking up all my sentences right now. Anyway, let's talk to so this guy. Home of the Firefly. He's oilish. Alright. So yeah, just destroy the piranha signs. And so thus far I've got all the skill points in uh, the game, except for I think I actually missed one on um, Molten Crater, I think that's what it's called, but it's okay because uh, I have to revisit that level anyway, so I'll get it then. Uh, now, let's just carry on, and as always, if you die, you have to fucking, uh, all the fucking signs will respawn, kind of like how they did with Sergeant Bird's mission, in which I had to destroy those mole things. Uh, so yeah, so obviously you can't jump in the water because uh, there's, uh, well, piranhas in them. What's up? Okay, cool. Uh, ow, fuckface. Uh, let's carry on. Damn, this level is a bit weird. Okay, is that a core dad? Let's take him out. I know they're called core dads now from playing Sparks' little mission. Do that. Nice. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Now, let's carry on. Sorry if I sound a little too relaxed all of a sudden, because uh, I just took a much needed piss during that little break I just had. Okay. Let's get down here. Nice. Uh, so I think think there will be any more skill points in this episode. I'm fairly certain this will be the last one that I need to get. So that will be good. Ooh. Skip that. Why am I having such trouble navigating this? Uh, okay, I think this is one of those, yeah, one of those locked chests. Oh, gosh, you said that weird. Okay. Let's take that guy out. And that. I didn't think that was an enemy for a moment. And head here. The fuck? Oh, that's a piranha. It was like clipping through the fucking ground. And there's a little egg here too. Sweet. What's up, my dog? Where do I have to stand? Okay. Michael! Mikey! There you go. Nice. So far, so fucking good. Now, I need to be sure not to go into a mission until I've destroyed all of these signs. Because as I mentioned before, that can... Um, Respawn them all when you come back in. 
Okay, nice. Good stuff. Get Sparks back to full health. Let's just head on over here. Totally missed that guy. Smash this. Get that. Get fucked. Noise. Uh, how many lanterns do I have left to put on? It's probably just two or one at this point, I would imagine. Uh, let's go up here and find out. That is my third one. Just one more to go. Noise. Fairly certain that's all you gotta do to complete the level. That would make sense. Let's take out that guy who I've totally missed and he totally missed me, but it seems I did get him because now he's dead. Let's get that. Still haven't destroyed them all. Fucking money bags there, ready to rip me off around every corner as always. Let's take these guys out. Totally fucked that up. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay. Hmm. Checkpoint me up. This is a spot that I haven't been to, I guess. Seems that way. I mean, just based on this one gem alone. Uh, right. Why am I struggling? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, okay, I think you do have to talk this to Moneybags here. This door is jammed shut, only the power of gems can hope to move it. Sure, just shut up. No, you haiku poetry stinks. Well, I have to pay him, man. Okay, Spyro is getting more and more attitude every day, I swear. Uh, okay. I can't stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Haiku? What's haiku? I probably should have listened to the dialogue. Maybe I would have noticed the change in how he speaks in that fucking particular spot. Well, anyway, so that would explain why I couldn't find some of these fucking gems here and was a little bit confused because turns out Moneybags wasn't guarding the mission, it was the rest of the fucking level. He's getting worse. Okay, and that would be the last lantern, so I won't destroy that just yet, or turn it on for that matter. Oh, I got a life. There is a secret in here. Okay, cool. I'll turn on the lamps later. Oh, I got the skill point, so that means I got all of the piranha signs. So that's good. Uh, let's just take out this guy, and that'll be the last enemy. And then I can ignite the last lantern as well. Uh, have I talked to this guy before? No, I haven't. You are brave, brave. Shiny the Firefly. Okay, sweet, got an egg. Thelionis? Did I say that right? Fairly certain I did. Okay, I got the end of the level, so I guess the lanterns are for a side quest. So let's do that. Done. I would have actually preferred to stay up there. Oh, actually, maybe I am still up here. Yeah. Okay, now I can head over here. Nice. And go over to there. And go fuck myself. Oh, there's the key that I need. Uh, okay, interesting. So, it seems that I can make it to the key from here, but I think the jump to that one's a bit far. But then again... Yeah, it seems that going for this key kind of compromises you, because those are clearly higher and further away. So uh, I'll probably have to go back up there, unless... Oh, come on! Missed it by a dick hair. The tea lamps are... Oh, okay, I've accidentally talked to this guy. Uh, Alright, nice. A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light he has awoken. He swore, he swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps better you than me. Use wizard bombs against him and avoid gators. Right, well, I got sparks injured on the way back, so let me get him back to full health. Actually, you may as well do the Sheila mission. It's been a while since I played as her, so let's do that. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to... Okay, I'm off to kick butt. Is that what haiku is? Is that what that style of speech is? Okay. Let's get that. Get this. Okay, I remember this. This is fucking tedious as hell, man. Alright. Uh, oh, oh, fucking idiot. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Went fucking through the portal. Now then, let's talk to these guys. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. 
<laughs> Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. But we Will just Sheila go boom. Us? Yes, I love your freestyle haiku. What the fuck is haiku? Yes, it's bombing time. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, he's gonna take a bomb and you have to clear the path for him. So, uh, be sure to do that. Uh, do that. You can kind of stomp these in. Uh, I'm go over here. I think the first one follows the path pretty strictly, so that's good. Okay, good. And destroy this one. Now, I'm pretty sure the mushrooms over time come back up, so can't really permanently get rid of it. Do that. But um, I think you do have enough time per run for it to stay down. Take advantage of it. Take all these gems. Destroy this as well, just because. Okay, I've actually lost him now. Oh shit, these came back up. Ah, oh, I was wrong. They come back up pretty quick. I'm just gonna have to speed it up. Okay, may as well resume from here. So, uh, yep. Looks like I've made it. Oh, where are we going at this point? Okay, yeah. So that's one egg freed. Nicely done. Peggy. Nice. Sweet. One egg cage remains. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, they put me back here. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up again. Okay, I did it. Uh, usually when I do time lapses, I only really include the one time I do it. Just know that I took a couple of attempts, which is why you may have noticed that some of the things were already broken before I even got there. Because I would have broken them in the previous attempt before that. The eggs okay. Are all free. Two eggs are all free, two dragons are born today, Sheila's my hero. Sweet haiku, I guess. Sounds like a Pokemon. Now then, let's just get the gems and fuck the fuck off on out of here, because that's going to be annoying to edit. Just because I'll have to get the one time that I did it, <laughs> and the times that I collected those gems. Okay, uh, what do I have to do? What do I have left to do here? Now I'm fairly certain there's some, there's like a, yeah, right here maybe? Yeah, there's a little hidden room. So get those, and let's fuck the fuck off on out of here. And pick up anything that I may have missed, I'm fairly certain. There were some gems, yeah, right over in here. Let's get that. Oh, and there's like breakable rooms, which I need to remember. Let's bounce. There you go. Get that. Oh boy, so much shit to collect. Nice. Gimme gimme. Yeah, actually, fucking anytime you have to play a Sheila, it gets annoying. <laughs> I'm noticing that uh, Spyro has the opposite problem of Crash Bandicoot, where Crash Bandicoot got easier the more they added new stuff in. Spyro gets harder as they add more stuff in. Like, Spyro 1's the 1 is the easiest because it's so much more simpler. And then these ones get harder because they had these new characters and stupid things like the super high fucking whatever the fuck it was called. The super high fluidity tunnel? I want to say that's what the full name of that was in episode 2. Uh, so check that episode out if you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Which you probably wouldn't anyway. Now then. Hopefully, I've got most of everything. Uh, probably haven't. I, I'm fairly certain I've missed something. Oh, yep. Okay. 
bounce up here. Destroy that. Okay. Try that again. What the fuck? Am I able to hit this one? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, it's probably more like that that I've missed. Okay, I was just double checking. It seems like I've got everything, hopefully. Uh, so let's head back and defeat that, um... Was it a wizard or something? It's like a little sub-boss before <laughs> the boss that I'll actually take on. And now i got Sparks back to full health. And as you can see, these Piranha signs have respawned. So it's good that I got those while I could. And now that i got Sparks back to full health, we can take him on. Uh, so he throws bombs, and then I can headbutt him back, but I missed. Uh, so that's lame. Oh shit. I'm fairly certain you can just take these guys out because they're just the stereotypical enemy. Um, there you go. Where's that bomb? Oh, I hit it the wrong way. Uh, oh boy. Not doing too great at this, but I'm not doing bad either. Okay, here we go, mate. Get my first hit on him if I can angle this right. Ooh, it has a countdown. Nice. I'm glad that it has a countdown actually, because if it would take too long, it'll fucking blow up in my face. I'll be like, what? But now I know. Now I know exactly when it's about to go off. Okay, angle, angle it right. That's more important than anything. Measure it twice, cut once. Am I right? So far, so good. Relatively easy to beat, so that's good. It's usually just a test of patience with uh, boss battles. There you go. One more hit should do it. These guys are so easy to beat. Oh shit, you mixed it up. Ow, he actually hit me. Fucker. Can you throw a bomb over here, sir? Cheers. That's your demise. See, if he was a smart boss, he'd know that if he kept doing that red attack, he'd probably kill me. But he's a bitch. Okay, Herb B. Done, and hopefully that's it for this level. With that said, though, I definitely have missed gems, and I'm going to guess they're on Sheila's level. Let me just check where I'm at. Oh, actually, I know what it is. Uh, yeah, no, it's not that. Hopefully. So, as I can recall, there was that tree that I totally missed out on. I'm just having a hard time remembering now where the fuck it was. Uh, okay. I want to see it was up here. I want to see it was up here. And, of course, I have that key that you can probably saw in my inventory just a moment ago that will unlock that chest which is actually around that area as well so that's good okay so this time I want to head to the tree and so it looks like you have to head here first like a glove and get the last dragon egg Frank nice okay and then it should hopefully just be the chest that I haven't opened yet Oh! Okay, I found it. It's in this, uh, under this tree here. There you go. Nice. Now, hopefully, that will be the last of it. And it is! Yeah, buddy! I think I did that pretty well, to be honest. Won't have to come back here. Now I'll just do one more level, which is Bamboo Terrace, and then I'll have to do a speedway, and then I can do the boss battle. Which shouldn't be too bad. Now, you can't actually 100% the level Bamboo Terrace until you've unlocked the Yeti character, which is unlocked in World 3, I assume. So, um, won't be doing that to 100% this time around, but I'll get it at the end of the game. And there's also no skill point on this level, so that's fine. Bamboo Terrace, here I come. I said terrorist, didn't I? My bad. Terrorist. Okay. Let's see how quickly I can speed through this one. It's probably becoming quite a lengthy episode, but uh, I don't care at this point. I think uh, it's always fair to say if you get to episode 3, you're committed to watching the whole thing. Uh, and I don't like to go beyond 5 episodes, Hello. which I've said many times. That may change for future games though. So uh, they've been harassing them for the whole day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirl whirly gig to take you to the evening lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. 
cool. The evening lake is the um the third world, I assume. Oh, sorry, panda. 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 Okay. What the hell is with this question mark? Has Riddler been here or some shit? Oh, what the fuck? Take that. Little fucking Teletubby looking son of a bitch. Got another life, holy shit. Hey. No. You stop. Alright, let's try speeding it up a bit. There you go. Nice. And that appears to be about it. So they just rolled that little stone thing out the way. And now I can carry on. Sweet. Ah oh, yeah. Okay, get all that. I think there was a ball. Yep. Take that out. And let's just head here. I would have made that without doing the hover. White or the white, depending on if the D is silent or not. Okay, bud. Go away. I wonder how they like kind of zap out of here. Okay, get shot by a ray gun or something. Save you. Yep, it appears I can jump up here. How are these guys just floating in? They're getting more clever with their enemies, because when they just spawn out of nowhere, it kind of throws me off because I think it's safe. I've died, I've actually died. Huh, interesting. First death as playing as Spyro. So uh, yeah, that's it, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> I mean, I already did technically die this episode, I just didn't accept it. But now I fully have, so that's fine. Let's get rid of this guy again, because he's respawned. And uh, we'll go back to that area later. Ow, tush. There you go. Nice. Oh, cool. Nice little drawbridge. And uh, may as well go back to that spot. Let's just cut to it. Okay, that enemy uh, hit me, so that's why Sparks is green. And this time I'm actually gonna make it, just about, while well, Sparks is dead. Oh boy. I still collect all the gems, despite that, Madison. There we go! Okay, scratch your ear. Uh, where the fuck am I? Alright, cool. Now let's go across that drawbridge and kill this thing to get Sparks back. Oh, there's some gems though. Seems to be speeding through it relatively quick, despite the death. But in editing, it's about the same. Okay, there appears to be a wall I can hit. Yep. Oh, damn! Lives for days! I'm gonna have so many by the end of the game, provided I don't start sucking. Sucking what exactly? That is the question. Now, got all that, and now I can proceed here. Fuck you! Uh, okay, I think a drawbridge opens up over there, but not yet. Not until I complete the level, at least. Gimme, give gimme! Give Don't fucking fire rockets at me, you little fucking prick! And fuck you up too. This box is back to full health because I got those lives. Just wondering how that happened. Uh, ah, oh, there's still gems under here. Fuck it. May as well jump down now. Although I would have been backtracking later, so I could have got it then. But oh well. Now, let's head here. Fuck that guy up. And let's just talk to this guy and end the level. But first. Oh, fuck. Oh, you know what? Let's just... Oh, here we go. So yeah, this is the side mission I was talking about. Uh, what did it say? Can I open that back up? Probably nothing special, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, the reason why I'll have to backtrack is because this fucking thing is back. Which actually I thought they replaced with the locked chest because that would have made sense. But um, it seems they're both in the game. And they've gotten a lot more annoying in this game, because if you die, they st go back to their initial place, so... Yeah. Annoying. Okay, now let's talk to the last dude and end this. And it seems that, uh... Oh, it's right there, huh? 
Sing Sing. Okay, cool. It seems that uh, the Yeti mission may be the only uh, side mission to this level, so it's a nice short one. Uh, I think that's the case, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I should open it right away. Well, fuck you. Uh, actually, there does appear to be a mission over there, so I'll be doing that. And also, when I say mission or level, I mean the same fucking thing, just to clarify. <laughs> Not that anyone cares. Okay, let's see if I can see what this said. Ah, oh, fuck it, who cares? Now then. Oh, fucking little fuck faces here. Where you going? Oh, it duped me good. Duped me good. Okay, that's the emergency bridge. Uh, I can't leave to go into a little sub-level just yet because um, otherwise that question mark vase thing will disappear. And I see that enemy had despawned. I'll take him out again later. And by disappear, I mean go back to his initial position. What the fuck is going on here, man? Why have I not hit him yet? I need to cut a corner somewhere here. Maybe here. I might do it. Oh, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. That does not help at all. Okay, let's fuck this guy up. There you go. I think he dropped a jam. Sound like it. Alright, let's speed it up. Okay, there we go. That took a lot of laps. Pee wee, got ya. And as you saw, that enemy did drop a gem, which I had collected. If you saw, I don't know, just clarifying. Uh, okay, got 65 eggs now. Let me just figure out where that vase went to. Ah, oh, it's over here. Okay, cool. Uh, man. For some reason, these vases go through a lot more than uh, what they originally did in Spyro 2. Takes a while before you can actually break them. Uh, but it's the same thing as Spyro 2, eventually they go back to the starting position. Okay, that's, uh, I think that's just left here. Ooh, yeah. Sure is. And that's the beginning of the level, so that should be the last time I have to hit it. And then I can go into that little side mission that's left on this level. And then, uh, pretty much get towards the end game of this episode. Uh, okay, cool. That's all collected, and the side mission, sorry bud, sorry about that, is just here on the left. Let's go check out what that is. Uh, I actually can't remember for the life of me. Um, hmm. Oh, I remember. Okay. I remember. Please help us. Please help us, bro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten rhinos keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? You bet. Please hop aboard, make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. Sure thing. Don't think this is too hard. So you just hop on here. There's no gems to be collected here, so keep that in mind. And you just want to get these Rhinox pricks. There we go. And before they actually start climbing, otherwise they will get knocked, knocked down. Like he said, uh, I should probably speed this up. Let's just start spamming it in their general area and hopefully it will get them. There you go. Sparks, what are you doing? Is it because it thinks I'm idle? Uh, okay, there you go. I think I just hit the panda. Oh no, we're good. Ooh, that's coming very close to hitting the panda though. Alright, that guy's down. That guy's down as well. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, I've hit the panda. No, I haven't. We're good. We're still good. Uh, yeah, so you knock them off the ladders, and then they build bridges, and um, you have to protect them there. Seems like this might be the last one, hopefully. I'm doing a pretty good. Pretty good job of it, except for there. I missed him. Okay, there we go. Did it. First try. Piece of cake. Shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. It's a lucky egg. Sweet. Double XP for me, bitch. Nice. Rusty. Okay, that's it for this level, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I can really do anything else, right? Couldn't get all the gems, but I assume the remaining ones are uh, in um, 
fucking that yeti level. Okay, I was gonna go to the portal, but I'm having a hard time finding it. So let's just exit. And there's probably an egg or something in the yeti level as well, if I hadn't gone them all. So now I'll just do a speedway, and then uh, a boss battle, and that'll be it for this episode. Okay. Let's head on over to the no, don't send me to the whirly gig thing. Okay. Let me get back to the speedway. Okay, uh, the speedway should be right here. Yep. Uh, what did I say? Say country speedway? Anyway. So this will be a second speedway, so it shouldn't be too hard. Country Speedway, or is it County Speedway? No, it's definitely Country Speedway. Okay, I would like to do the time attack bud, and then I'll race the biplanes later. Now, it gives me an optimal route, but I don't care, because I can figure it out as I go, and I've done it before. Okay, so we'll take out these rings, like so, and then I'll just jump down here, and take out these tractor fuckers. And there they fuck the tractors. Uh, each to their own, I guess. There we go, just two more left. As long as I don't miss one, that's fine. And then I can proceed to take out these cows with these weird hats on. I've missed one, so that's gonna fucking ruin it all. Uh, oh man, why can't I fly straight? Okay, there we go. Finally, figured it out. I'm not gonna go through that boost, because that just seems dangerous. Uh, gosh, I feel like that one cow that I missed has kind of ruined this. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe luck will have it. By the time I hit the last plane, I will have looped back around to the exact position where the cow is. Just maybe, right? Okay. Two more biplanes. It seems I'm, it seems I'm about to fail, so... Uh, I definitely needed that cow. Okay, let me redo that. Okay, so as you see, I got the cow, and that's why I got all my gems, so let me get to the end. Okay, here's the last one. I'm still pretty short on time for some reason, even though I'm fairly certain that was the most optimal route. I suppose you could speed it up by going through the boost, or um, going counterclockwise against the tractors. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good time, but I'm sure there's ways of being it, like cutting corners and so on. Uh, so now let's race the biplanes. Uh -huh. But first, let me get Gavin. Has anyone seen my friend Gavin? I'm so worried. Shout out if you know that reference. Okay. Race the biplanes. Sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna speed it up because this episode is fucking long. Okay, may as well resume talking from here, it's the last lap. So, uh, yeah, this is like my second attempt. Um, the first time I fucking died, because I went in the water. I would have won it as well, but, uh... And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you fucking kids. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see, they've added, like, items in the game, like, uh, that red rocket here. That <laughs> red rocket. Uh, which is essentially the red shell. I already got one in my mouth, so I'll just spit it out, and as you can see, it just took out that guy. Uh, so yeah, cool. Uh, probably not the most optimum time. I think there are a few boosts that I missed, like just now there was an option to get a boost or a rocket, and I took the rocket despite being in first place, so it made no sense. Uh, so I'll just spit that out. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool. And there we go, that's the end of the race. Number one, baby! Now there is another side quest by Hunter, so uh, we'll be sure to do that. Okay, so I'll have to uh, initiate the time attack again once we've freed Shemp. There you go. I can incubate eggs like the nothing there. And even teach him how to cartwheel, apparently. Okay, now time attack. Okay, cool, bud. Now, I think he's in that big warehouse thing, so let's go in there. I can figure out which side it is open from, that would be great. 
Seems to be this one. The last side I checked. Uh, there we go. Spyro, you're not gonna believe this. But there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Go for it. Look out, cows! Here I come. Sweet. So one of these point and shoot type things. Hopefully I can do this first try. I'm also going to speed this up because I know the episode is long, so... Okay, hopefully that should just about be it. Uh, it's pretty easy to get, as long as you shoot in that general area, one of the bullets will get them. And that should hopefully wrap it up, I hope. Yep, dead. So I sped through most of that level, but um, man, these speedway levels are getting longer than they used to be, so fuck it. Well, Birdo, there you go. Why are you in a bubble? Are you having a bubble? Alright, nice. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, 100% of it. Quit. Aw, oh, do you have to go? I was just kicking back while you were doing all that flying. Tough shit, man. Better get back on the grind. Spyro never stops. Except for that one time in Ripto's Rage where he's like, I'm going to relax for a moment, but that lasted for like five seconds. Now then. Let's proceed to do the boss battle. Woohoo! Which I can do over here. Uh, this Sparks level still hasn't activated. Because you probably have to beat the boss before it turns on. Uh, but I'll do those off camera like I said earlier. Now then. Uh, we're going to Evening Lake with 35 lives. Damn, dog! It's a good thing I practiced this game because I probably wouldn't have that many lives otherwise. <laughs> this is going to be a great save. Spike's Arena. I'm going to fuck him up. I'm trying to remember what exactly it is. Oh, we got Sergeant Bird to My help me here. Told me the sorceress would attack you here, so uh -huh. I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Sweet. Now get in there and fight the good. If your rockets have no effect, what difference would it make if I had them rockets? But anyway, uh, also no cutscene before this little level here. Uh, oh shit! No asshole. So I'm okay. I, you need to bash these into him, but um, oh fuck! It's hard to dodge the bullets at the same time. As you just saw, now I've taken a hit. Oh shit, that guy is jacked man, look at him. There you go. Uh, okay, cool. I feel like I was saying something earlier and I've just totally slipped my mind, fuck it. Oh, oh he destroyed it, asshole. Okay, Sparks is pretty low on health here. Oh fuck. So he shoots twice. And then he does it. Oh, okay. All right, I might die. I might die. Gotta be really careful now. It's really annoyingly timed. These bullets. I mean. Okay. What an asshole! As if it wasn't hard enough. Can you drop some sheep, Sergeant Bird? That would be much more appreciated. Go and shoot again. I oh, for fuck's sake. The timing's all off, I just don't get to it in time. See what I mean? And I'm dead. Okay, and I'm back. And now this is what I was talking about. That's much more better more better timed in that regard. I took a hit there though, and I also took a hit earlier. And also worth mentioning, I died again earlier. So yeah, this is my third attempt now. Ooh, so low on health already. And now things have changed. Oh boy. Okay, so he shoots three times now. Now you get this thing. And he just tried to whack me. And it's basically just a mega flame. So I'll be taking another one. Well, I can. Chill out, bro. Take that. Can you drop me some sheep, Sergeant Bro? That would be so much more appreciated. Okay, he just ate one. Okay, that's something. Oh, a chicken. Finally. That is so weird. So... In all the times I've died, not one chicken has dropped. So it's weird that I just got one just now. But uh, yeah, good that I did. Because now I can beat him properly. Uh, okay. 
Doesn't help though when he picks up my power ups. Very similar boss to how Ripto Rage is structured. Uh, not Ripto's Rage, but Ripto. Okay, there we go. Done! Yeah, uh, we'll see the life count in a moment, so we can get an idea of how many times I died just now. Okay, nice. Can I have that butterfly? I need it. Monique? Is that her name? 70 eggs now. I did have 69, huh? Uh, okay, I think he'll bring up my life count in a moment. Uh, I probably did not practice that boss enough because he kicked the shit out of me a good couple of times, mostly due to a lack of patience. Uh, and just not getting the timing down. So, now I have... Oh wait, Bianca's here. To be fair, there was a lack of cutscene. Listen to me, dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's gonna do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! Before you have to kill me? Okay. Well, how can I trust that she'll take good care of the eggs? I, I don't know. But anyway, that should be about it. Uh, shall we get Sparks to full health before ending the episode? There you go. Nice. Okay, so let's have a look at the atlas here. Uh, okay, so this is Evening Lake World, which I'll try to do the whole thing in episode 4. And this is where we got to today. Did all of that, and before that we did this. So nice. There's only one level in each world that I have to go back to, so that's cool. 43% complete. And uh, worth checking how many lives I had. have now. I have 30, so I died probably like four times on that boss just now uh yeah but anyway with that said that's the end of this episode hope you enjoyed it and uh come back for episode four where i'll be taking on the evening lake